I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. We're just about set to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Clemson's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. the 24-yard line. Fourth down, I'm coming as they go three and out. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Brought down around the 40-yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. From their own 40-yard line, second down. He goes out of bounds around the 44-yard line. out to his receiver and he's leveled at the 22 yard line and that pass had to be right on the money you're absolutely right that ball was thrown where it had to be that would have been picked off and taken the other way for six had it been thrown anywhere else heck of a throw that time and the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten gain as he works to the right side. Tackle at the 17. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He gets rid of this one. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, 
get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do to it. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, well, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. From their own 39-yard line, Second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. From the 46 yard line. First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. He fights forward to about the 43. That's good for the three yards. That makes it second and six. Gets to about the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, third down. He's taken down at the 36. Tackles him hard at the 27 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike eight. Mike eight. Check three. Check three. And a quick throw. They'll drop him for a loss. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. So we're looking at another third down here. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll bring him down right around the 18-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 18-yard line, second down. We played one. The Crimson Tide in front, 3-0. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Well, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient, and once again, they're moving the chains. He has some room. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for the five yards. That brings him second and goal. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Touchdown, Tigers.
That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. A 13-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Smith from the two, and he's tackled at the 27. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They give to the tailback. Tackle for a loss. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the 50-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. From the 50. First down. Harris, again, tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second in five. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 40. That's big time by the defense there, Brad. Third down, they knew what was coming. They put themselves in a position to make a big play to set up a fourth down. Incomplete, knocked away. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson is up four. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. To the 10. And he will score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Second 
Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in the 23. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And they push him out at the 36 yard line. He'll get it again. Nice run to the outside. Harris gains about four yards on the play. From their own 40-yard line. It's second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's a great tackle at the 48. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. At about the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. Gets it. He's in space. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Play number nine of this current drive. They bring him down in the backfield. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Clemson's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. But it's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more. But still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. It goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Clemson holds a four-point lead. Tackle made at the 33. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 48-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He steps out at the 45-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 45. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. 
He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 27-yard line, first down. He's under pressure. Gets it out to him again, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one-possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's going to try and scramble. He gets rid of this one. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Five wide. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Strike to his receiver, no good. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Here comes the pressure, and he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. 
They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got it to the senior. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Scott to punt. He makes it to the 32-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Clemson is up a score. They'll bring him down right around the 40. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Mike, eight! Mike, eight! And he's taken down at the 50. Taken down at the 32. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. Yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Clemson is up by a touchdown. Runs outside for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. the PAT. A six-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 24-10. Potter has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's tackled at the 36. from their own 36-yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Step 
steps out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 36. They'll go ground. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Kendrick is back awaiting the punt. Got the corner. He fields the punt at the 16. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Clemson showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. He guns it into traffic, and it's picked off, and he's leveled the 39-yard line. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh, boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. He tackles him hard at the 38. That makes it second to eight. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The Tigers lead it by two touchdowns. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires out to his receiver. He's at the 20. Knocked out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the ten. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds at the three-yard line. to thread the needle and it's not going to work. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From their own 20-yard line. First down. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. Makes it to the 41. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Check three, check three, check three. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a gain of four on that play. That makes it first and ten. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. He makes it to the 48-yard line. to that quickly and he shoved out of bounds at the 31 yard line excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers that's composure right there a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter they keep it on the ground with the tailback nice gain as he works the right side Alabama just took their first time out from the 25 yard line second down Up, up the middle and stuffed. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Alabama's out of timeouts. The kick is up. And he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 27 to 10, Clemson. He sends this one deep. Potter has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he snags that one. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Spikes the ball. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Wants to go long and does. And it's caught for the 10. Touchdown, Alabama. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They keep the football, and they're only down two scores. I thought they were out of this football game, but they're really starting to make this game interesting. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Once and all, going deep. Tackle made around the one-yard line. First 
first and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. He's tackled at the one. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. The draw within a field goal, and he hits the PAT. The Tigers staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. down the 42-yard line. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 27-24, Tigers. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.